Hi, my name is Vyacheslav Ivashenko. I'm from Krasnoyarsk, uh, which is a city in Siberia. I'd like to talk about the project, that, uh, two projects that I was personally involved in. Uh, in at <laughs> the first, oh my God. The first, uh, fir fir <laughs> uh, first one was uh, Arkstayania. Uh, Arkstayania is a very interesting event, uh, which has a kind of an interesting history. Um, also, I want to talk about recycling art, how it affected <laughs> my uh, curatorial approach. Uh, yeah. You can advance the slides oh, here. Oh, oh, oh. That's why you have this thing. Here. <laughs> I thought it was, was microphone, actually. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, Ian, uh, the story behind the event is kind of interesting. 2006, uh, um, some of the woods around the village, which is in 200 kilometers from Moscow, which is approximately 130 miles, quite far were affected by uh, Colorado uh, potato beetle. So about up to 35% of woods were destroyed. And uh, an artist, an architect, Nikolai Poliski, who owned the house there, came up with an idea of making a sculpture out of the woods. And all nine uh, remaining residents were involved. Uh, so some of the objects were created, and uh, it uh, attracted a lot of interest. People traveled, uh, the, the local residents uh, even had a chance to travel internationally. And so next year, a lot of uh, architects, local and international, wanted to participate. So uh, you can see the place, uh, uh, Nikola Lenivitz village, also has uh, kind of historical significance to Russian history. And uh, slowly, like, uh, they started building projects out of the woods uh, that remained from this uh, Colorado uh, beetle epidemic. And then, um, so mostly uh, recycled materials uh, have been used there. But slowly, uh, uh, projects started, uh, started growing, and up to the year uh, 2011, when I joined, uh, it became uh, uh, kind of a very large event uh, with uh, more than uh, 10,000 people visiting. Um, in um, 2013, I came back to my hometown, Krasnoyarsk, thinking that I can bring some of the experience that I gain, gained in Arkstayania back home. And um, we organized an open call uh, of, of, of between architects and, and architectural students and artists uh, for recycle uh, art objects, which uh, we received a lot of applications. Uh, which we uh, installed in few locations, uh, in Krasnoyarsk downtown, in university campus, and uh, uh, youth center. We mostly used palettes in our first event. That's actually our second event. Uh, and uh, palettes, tires, any, anything that we could scavenge, uh, because we had uh, we were self-funded, uh, so we uh, didn't get any any uh, money from uh, the government, and we had very kind of uh, limited uh, uh, support from the foundations. After uh, the presentation of our uh, festival, which happened in one of the youth centers, which was visited by mayor of the city. Uh, next morning, some of the uh, objects went missing, which we saw as a good sign <laughs> of gradual involvement of people. So, our, in our next event, we uh, should I stop? <laughs> okay, okay, our, that's our next event, okay? Uh, that's uh, student and local residents got involved fully. So, I mean, as far as we can. And so, uh, some of the objects were able to uh, survive the winter, okay? And Tretikov Gallery, our last project this year in Moscow. So some of the uh, landscape, uh, famous landscapes uh, made by Russian uh, uh, artists were thought by our uh, artists. <laughs> okay, thank you.